All right, today we're going to be working on a 2018 Jeep Wrangler, and we're going to be replacing these fender flares right here. We've got some um, rugged ridge fender flares. I'm going to show you that right now, and I'll have links in the description on where you can purchase these things. Okay, here's the fender flare that we're going with. These are actually rugged ridge max terrain, and they're just a little bit wider, about an inch wider. So um, when we get them on there, we're gonna put one on one side, let you see the difference, just so you can see this versus the stock. But it comes in a pretty big box with a lot of parts. So we're gonna see what it takes to put these on, and I'm gonna take you through all the steps that we go through to make this happen. So this is the before look of the JL jeep wrangler with the current fender flare on it uh, this is both sides right here i'm gonna get you a front shot all right so we decided we would go ahead and finish this side here first and then now i'm going to videotape this side and show everybody how to do it all right i wanted to show you what it looks like when the lights are turned on uh, this is connected up as a switchback go ahead you know, he's going to turn the lights on right now so that's the turn signal what it looks like um, I don't know if you can tell, but that's amber. And then uh, turn. we're gonna turn on the other side. That's what the other side looked like. Now, um, just turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. He's gonna turn the lights on. That's what it looks like normally with the lights on without the turn signal. It's nice and white, which is really cool. And you can see the other side look like that. All right, so we grabbed our new fender. You can see this is the one that's gonna go on the car um, once we're complete. First thing you wanna do is take some, uh, I took like a paper towel, put some alcohol on it, rubbing alcohol, and you just wanna wipe the inner plastic piece right here on that part and on this part. So in the Bushwhacker Fender Flare Kit, they give you a ton of this uh, rubber I don't know what you want to call it, rubber sticky back flat piece that you basically put on the insides of the fenders to go between the fender and the paint. Uh, basically what you want to do is cut it to the right size and then stick it on. So you can see we've already done the small side here. You can see it's right there up against it. And now we're going to do this side. And you want to have it, they say a quarter of an inch from the top of this edge down. So we're just eyeballing about a quarter of an inch and putting it on there. And it's really not hard to do, but just cut it to the right length and then stick it in place. So the next step that they tell you to do is you take these clips, the same ones that just got ripped off the car, they provide new ones for you. You can see there's a little slot in them. You wanna take it and put it in between the fender flare and slide it up into place and snap it in. You need to do that all the way around. Of course, you could take this off. This is just covering up this piece that's going to go inside the car. So just take them and put them on everywhere that you see the openings. So the next step, you basically take this big fender flare that you got, line up this hole right here, usually to that second hole. Uh, of course, if you don't have it right, it won't fit exactly right, but basically you're just putting the whole thing on yeah see that's not exactly the right hole only because that's not lined up you want to line this up and now you just want to snap it in place all of those places you just put those little snaps in just push them down some of them might be tougher than others but go all the way around and snap them all in I don't know if this matters, but the last two right in here, uh, we decided not to snap those in. And that's because there's a piece that goes right here. Uh, we're gonna get that right now. We just wanted to have the flexibility to be able to move this around while we mess with that piece. Okay, so this is the piece that goes down at the bottom. And you have to put an adhesive right here. It's like a double stick tape piece that they give you. This is it. So basically we're going to probably cut it in half and fit it on the top of that. They also put this stuff in the, uh, in the box and basically what this does is it helps it stick. You can see it says it's a primer adhesive promoter. 
this does really good at uh, making it stick. It's almost like a super glue, so be careful how you use it. So you want to put a little bit of that on the piece right there before you put your... Um, I don't know if we should do it with our finger. <laughs> it doesn't stick to my... Look, it doesn't stick. It's okay. weird. It just sticks to this. This is not sticking. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's not exactly like super glue? Something weird. <laughs> All right, on this next step, if you're putting in these bushwhacker fender flares, you want to take this piece. They didn't explain much about this in the instructions, but after you put your double stick tape on the top, you want to take this, put it over here close to the door, and you can see there's actually a really big hole right there. So the top goes right there, and the whole thing, you can see it kind of rests up against the fender flare, and the bottom is going to go into that hole right there. And basically what's going to happen is you're going to screw this down real tight and it's just going to hold on to the um, it's going to hold on to the back of the fender flare and just give it a little bit of support is all it's going to do. So we're going to go ahead to the back of this and we're going to put the big washer that they provided us and the in the nut and then what we're going to do is tighten it down and get this thing in place. Coming from the front of the fender all the way down to the back this is the piece we just did and this is what it ends up looking like. You can see it's kind of stuck with double stick tape to the back of the fender to provide support. And we screwed in the top and the bottom to those holes. And that's kind of what it looks like on the back. The next step is to take the light with all of its cord and put it into those three holes right there. And then what you want to do, what we found is turn it upside down and you can see there's, uh, if you look in here, a short screw goes right there, a longer screw goes here and here, and you can see they've given us those three. I feel like I need to mention this because it's just ridiculous. With this screwdriver, it's the right size screwdriver. You can see, I'm going to show you how it fits. It's a nice tight fit in there. Um, I wrenched this down as hard as I can get it, and for some reason, it's still not flush right there. It's close, but it's not flush. Um, I don't know why, but these screws are not easy to get in. They're really tight. So if you're having trouble, it's not going to come out. Just do the best you can. The next step is to put the, ad the adhesive, I can't talk, the adhesive on the top of this and put this double stick tape on here. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to mount this to right here. Um, and we're just going to use the bolts that they provided. You can see these are the bolts they provided. They have like little squares at the tops of the heads. And basically you want to put this in first coming out. And then you want to put the, the nuts on this side. Because you're going to want to make adjustments for this on, on up high or low once you put it in place underneath the fender. So you want to be able to get to the, the nuts on this side so you can make those adjustments. Okay, so we've just got it snug, and you can see you can still slide it back and forth. We also took the sticker or the, the top off of there, so now it is real sticky. So now we're going to put this in, and the best way to do this, you can see this is going to sit on top of that, that hole right there, and this other one is going to go up in there. So we're going to just come around here, put that just like that, and... Whoop. And that's how it goes, just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in there and we're going to put a bolt in that spot and then there's one just above it right here. Okay, so after you put the, uh, the light in, you need to come back now and adjust this piece and you can see it wiggles just a little bit back and forth. So you want to make this really nice and snug, get that up against the top for support and then you want to tighten these two down. So I'm going to go ahead and tighten them down now. but. Make sure it's resting right up against there so it sticks good and then uh, tighten them down but it's just for support okay so we went ahead and tightened this one down and then we got this other one right here once you do that you can see that basically you're now done the whole light and everything's in place the next step is to figure out what to do with the wiring and you can see it just looks like a nice big mess there but basically they lay it out for you if you're uh, if your Wrangler factory came equipped with LED, then you want to make sure that the red goes to the red. And here's what we're looking at. 
the red wire right here goes to the red wire and then you need to take the white and put it inside this connector and then you can see if you came standard with no LED then this goes to nothing that's the red and the white gets connected to the red if you're if you uh, came with LED without a switchback then what you do is you go ahead and you don't connect this white wire and you connect the red to the red so here's the big thing that I found out so if it's LED notice the topper LED the red definitely goes to the red the only difference on that if it's LED is if you have the switchback you want to make sure that this white wire goes inside this connector and I'll show you how to do that because that's what we're going to do and then it connects to the relay and what the difference on switchback was what we saw is basically when he turns on his regular headlights this is going to light up white when he turns on the turn signal this is going to end up going to amber and it's going to be the turn signal of amber so i guess from the factory it looks like uh you would have had that already to where you had the white light and then when you put on the turn signal it would go to amber that's how you know if you have the switch back so here's what we're going to do we're going to take out the relay we're just going to push down on this tab and pull it out because uh we need to connect this white wire into that. So what you want to do is make sure it's in the same direction as all the others and just slide it down there and it locks into place. So what we did is we slid off this blue connection, it locked into place. Now that it's locked into place, we connect it back into the relay and we're done. So everything's connected. Uh, actually, I didn't connect the red one. The red one is gonna go to this little piece right here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get some shrink wrap and they, it came in the container. We're going to shrink wrap all of this to where it's not accessible. So they gave us this big piece of shrink wrap. It was in the kit and we're going to put that over this section right here. All right, now we're going to shrink wrap this in place. Go back and forth on it, so yeah. This is what it looks like after it's been shrink wrapped. Now, if you want to put black tape around the edges, because this is such a big piece of shrink shrink wrap, it won't actually enclose that. You can do that. Um, but now, what we're going to do is we're basically going to tuck the wire up in there, and we're going to plug this in to the connector right here. You can't even see that. Here we go. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna plug this into the connector right there. And then we're gonna run this and we're gonna zip tie this all up and out of the way. This is what our final result looks like on the zip ties. We just zip tied right here and then we came over here and we zip tied that. So it's kind of out of the way. So we're getting ready to put the rear Rugged Ridge Max Terrain Fender Flare on the back. And one of the things you want to do is put this little rubber. It's just like we did the front. We have this little rubber piece that has to go on. So we're just um, trying to figure out how long it needs to be and then we're going to cut it to length. The other thing we're going to do is before we put it on, we're going to put some alcohol, just you know, regular rubbing alcohol on the, um, on the area just before we stick it down. So that way we make sure it's nice and clean. All right, so this is what it looks like once you get the rubber know, sticker installed. And you can see we're about a quarter of an inch from the top. All right, so just like we did on the front, you're basically gonna take uh, the center. I don't know if you can see it real good there, but you can see there's a gap and you slide that gap. Oh wow, it looks like I got quite a few in my hand. You slide that gap right in between here and then you just push it up there really good. And that's it. So you do that all the way around. Make sure, of course, that you take these little rubber things off because that's not gonna fit. There's two of them on the rear fenders. All right, once you got all the clips on, line up all the holes. Be sure to uh, mainly line up the big ones and then uh, snap it into place. 
So on this one we found that you kind of have to work from one side to the other. Not all the holes line up exactly as you're doing it as a whole. So you just line them up and you just keep pushing in the little tabs right there. Now when you're done, all of these should be flush up against the uh, inside of the fender well or the wheel well. And that's it, that's all that's holding this on. And that's what it looks like when it's done. There it is, so the front fenders came out really good. And then the back fenders. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped you. If it did, please uh, give us a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe, check out our other videos. Thanks.